So I decided I wanted to try a uh, fluidized sand bed filter. Um, this is a test run for my idea. When I'm done, that will be sitting in a tank below this tank, which will be a planted tank. It'll be sitting in the center with overflows draining into it. And it will overflow over the top of the uh, glass tube into the bottom tank. Um, I'm thinking that the glass tube will stick up slightly above the water level in the other tank below this one. Um, right now I have it set up with my trickle filter. Uh, the pump coming from the trickle filter which used to go to a spray bar. I replaced the spray bar with a straight tube that goes down to the bottom of the fluidized sand tube. Um, I had to put this little hole in it here so that when uh, I cut the power it doesn't suck the sand all the way down into the filter which works nicely but uh, when the power comes back on the pumps not enough to get the sand moving again. Uh, Maybe just that I have too much sand in the tube and I need to cut down on it a little bit which I could do. Um, there's quite a bit of sand in it now. Uh, the tank is still a little murky from when I had even more sand in it when I first cut it on and it created a pretty large sand plume in the water. Um, for those of you that have never seen my setup before, this is my turtle tank uh, and this is the topper that I built for it. I've had to add some extensions to the sidewalls because my box turtle's gotten big enough to crawl over the top of it. And uh, this is where the box turtle lives under the wood there. And there's the box turtle. His name's Frederick, and he's actually a she, but I didn't know until after we named him. Uh, little tiki guys with running water coming out. Half, half of this little housing is land, and half of it is water. Uh, Frederick gets out and swims in the deep water sometimes. And, uh, but so far this is my test run of this idea for a fluidized sand bed filter. Thanks.